Hey, Mark and Melody here with one of our craziest attempts ever. We are actually going to do some waffles. We're going to show you a whole bunch of different ways to make waffles. I have a feeling the people out there are saying this probably the craziest when we've done a lot of crazy. Well, that's true. That's true. <laughs> actually, yeah, this one is a really easy one. We're going to show you the basics on how to make great, fantastic breakfast waffles. Mm -hmm. And uh, Melody's probably got, what, maybe a 10 or so Probably. recipes and I've got that many too. We're gonna put those recipes on our websites and have them available mm -hmm. uh, for you. But today we're just gonna show you the basics and how easy it really is to make these things. And let me tell you, right here, all I have is equal parts of oats and milk. soy milk. Okay, and they can use any variety of milk or water, right? Any liquid. Any liquid. Any liquid. Okay, that's good. Just have to have equal parts mm -hmm. and you can use any kind of oats too. So, right, quick. You know, yeah, you can use, uh, except the steel cut. I have not tried it with the steel cut oats. I probably um, wouldn't unless I had a Vitamix or did really... the grains up first. Now, what I did was I soaked this. I okay. just let it set for a while. Okay. Um, especially if you're making big batches. If you're gonna make big batches, you're gonna wanna do it like this. Small batches, mm -hmm. we'll show you how to do that in a little bit. I was bit. gonna say, it, when I did mine in the Vitamix, Mark, I think I did four cups, four cups. So I did equal parts, four cups of liquid, four cups of oats, and it did a, a blender full. Oh, okay, we'll have so to try that. that. We'll have to try that. So anyway, equal parts of soy and uh, oats. And, and this is, just, we're just gonna do a basic one to start out with? Yeah, I'm just gonna throw some vanilla in there. Okay. Um, right. What do you wanna put in here? Do you need some salt? Uh, yeah, I actually do put salt. I, I, it's for some reason, the salt really helps every single one of them. Okay. And uh, is there almond here? I, mean, I do. <laughs> we've got so many flavors here, we don't know what to do here. Um, almond, and you can put fresh almonds in here too if you want. Now, what about a sweetener? Are you going to use some kind of sweetener in Yeah, there? and today I'll just do some honey. Uh, you, you use a lot of the honey because you like the way it, it browns, the crispiness you get when you're doing your That's waffle. exactly what the sugar will do. Okay. If you're getting waffles that are turning out white and you know they're not getting that browning, mm -hmm, the sugar's mm -hmm. going to help that. Sure. How about some coconut? You want some coconut in here? You know me. So this would be like a coconut almond. Okay. And you can put some in now or you can put some in later. So we'll put some in now and maybe okay. put some in later. So what about some flaxseed? Do you need flax in that If at you all? want. Put a little flaxseed. <laughs> Isn't this crazy? You can just do anything you want here. Uh, one thing you will not see in here on any of the uh, waffles that Mark and I do today is a leavening. No. We don't use a no. leavening in here at all. We don't use a baking soda or a baking powder for these. And they're, they're absolutely delicious. And we, how many do we keep frozen at a time, Mark? Dozens. Do, yeah, dozens. Now I'm only gonna fill it up about half full okay. because it's a lot easier on your mix blenders that way. All right, I'm gonna trade spots so with So we'll you. let you go ahead and blend that up. All right. And it doesn't take long, just a few minutes, not even a few minutes. That's good, Mark? Yeah, that easy. Waffle irons. Woo, look at that. Now, now this is, I, I like this one here where you do two at a time. These are both wearing, mm -hmm. one of my favorite brands. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a single waffle iron, it just mm -hmm. does one. And then this one actually has where you put it in here, then you spin it around and you can do another one at the same time. Awesome. So that's awesome. the way those are. Nice. Uh, now one thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna spray these and just give it a quick spray like this. Mm -hmm. uh, now I know commercially you got to spray them every time because once they start sticking, they stick forever. But these, if you don't want to spray them every time, you can get by with them. Every two or three times. Right, right. Yeah. So, and then we're just going to put this in here. And what I like to do is kind of get around the outskirts of it. First. Just to make sure I've got that coverage. And then I fill in the inside. Nice. And it's going to expand, whoop. believe it or not. Yeah, and hopefully not completely not over. And as soon as you put it in, you spin Flip it. Flip it over and there's a ready light, it will tell you when it's ready. And uh, there's a gauge on the other side so you can make them darker mm -hmm. or lighter if you want. But we're gonna let this go. In fact, I think I'll do this other one. Sure. And Now, uh, just from what you put in there, Mark, and I think it was about almost five cups, mm -hmm. it looks like you're gonna get about four waffles out of that. Uh, we should get quite a few, yeah. Should we? Yeah, and I don't care to overfill them. Right. I mean, if the edges got a little, 
you know, they don't need to be perfect. They really don't. All right, I think what we're gonna have to do mm -hmm. is an awful lot of fast forwarding on this particular segment, you think? aren't we? Yeah. That's okay, but they're gonna get to see what it's done when they come back. So we're probably gonna fast forward some things and when you come back, we're gonna show you what we've done. Well, let's take a look. Woo, boy. Oh, Mark, those are beautiful. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Hot on the hands. Oh, look at that. Just gorgeous. Oh, mm. let's do maple syrup. I want, I want to top it off and make it beautiful. Yep, you can put any toppings you want, but maple syrup, since you're going to do that, mm -hmm. I'll put a little almond on it. And have you got some coconut? Coconut? I do. So that way we know what it is later on. <laughs> you know, I've actually got oh, something beautiful. else for it. There we go. It. Beautiful. There we go. Just Splash like it that. with some color. Boom. <gasps> you, Almond, oh, yum. coconut. Yum. Waffle. I want to eat that right now. Mm -hmm. So, but what are you doing next? That's what I want to know. Mark, my favorite candy bar in the whole world when I used to eat candy bars was an Almond Joy. Okay. So we're going to make Almond Joy waffles. Okay, what do you think I about like that? that. Do you like that? Yeah. All right, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do equal parts of liquid to equal parts of the oats, which I'm gonna do about three cups. Again, if your blender holds four, do four, just equal parts. Three cups, three cups, five cups, five cups, two cups, two cups. Two cups, that's right. So you don't have to have a Vitamix, they just are really nice. So I am going to do some Almond milk. I'm so, sorry, this is soy. Soy. So this, but you can use almond milk or you can use anything water you want. or pretty much anything. And I didn't fill up my three cups all the way because we've got a little bit of coconut milk here. So because this is an almond joy coconut flavor, I want to add a little bit. Okay. And that's the you can yeah. pour that in, Mark. That's the potent flavor. That's of... the potent flavor. Okay. Okay, now I want to give it a little bit of salt. And you know, I don't use a whole lot of salt, but you've got to give it a, a little bit of flavor. Almond Joy, you've got to give it an almond kick. And then we're going to put a little, oops, almond flavoring. And I want my flax seed. So I am going to put a little flax seed in there. There's a lot of little nutritional things you could put in there that oh, we don't even... Is. Uh, have with us today, but um, here's my sugar. So I want to put some dates. I love dates. And there's a date sugar. Have you seen the date sugar? I have. Yeah, and that's you can really do, good. You can use that too. Date sugar is one of my favorites. So right now we have almonds. I'm sorry, almond. Um, Coconut. No. So we have some almond uh, juice or extract. And dates. And dates, and we have all, uh, the soy milk, whatever milk you want. We have our oats, equal parts liquid, and we're going to blend and okay. salt. But they're going to get the recipe out there too. Blend it up. Let's do that. Now, Mark, mine tends to look a little runny right now, mm -hmm. but it has not soaked up the uh, liquid like yours did because you soaked your oats with your milk. Right. I put mine in at the same time, so this actually thickens up as it sits. Okay, it took a little longer to blend too. It did take a little bit uh, longer, but let's put some carrot chips. So if you can soak or... it overnight, what, you want me to put chips in there? Yeah. Okay. Don't get too crazy, but get crazy. Yeah. Um... Okay, a little crazier. Okay. Okay, that's crazy enough. Okay, I want some good. for the top. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad I <laughs> Huh. And I'll give you a spoon okay. here, because we don't want to we don't want to mix this part. Right, this you don't want blended. No. Uh, and and this coconut is an unsweetened coconut, so it also is going to uh, take up some of the moisture. Ah, okay. Our sugar was in our dates, so that's our good natural sweetener. Do you need more coconut? Does that look good? Of course. Oh yeah, that looks great. Okay. Of course, if you're gonna get to a point where sometimes if this is thickening. You might need to do it with a spoon. 
Right. Uh, which is fine. Or add a little bit of liquid when you're getting towards the right. end of it. I mean, if it's pourable, great, but you mm -hmm. know, having to spoon it in because it's too thick is not going to hurt it. I've had that happen before. Look at those chips. And just like that. I'm Put excited. It down, give it a spin. Yes. And there you go. And by the way, this one I think was running about $50. Was it really? And this double one was running about $89. Wow, that's a good price for it. Yeah, and if you get the little Best Buy discount mm -hmm. things, you can get it. So even you bought cheaper. this at Best Buy? Uh, or Bed Bath & Beyond. Bed Bath & Beyond, yeah. One of those places. No, they always have a coupon out there for at least 15 yeah. or 20 percent off, so that, yeah. that's pretty good. If you're on their mailing list and things like that. All right, we'll send them the bill in the mail for that we too. Will. We so will. So we're going to let this go? We're going to let this go. We're going to cook them off and come back and show you what they look like when they're done. Okay. Like surprise, surprise, surprise. Yeah. Oh, wow, wow. they're beautiful. Okay. They really do so good. I just am so amazed at these Whoa. recipes. <laughs> oh, wow. Ah, there we go. They're hot, hot, hot. Yeah. This one opened up a little bit. That's okay. It wanted me to taste it. It had a little Ooh. moisture on Whoa. that. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. That is fabulous. What were you having this morning? Did you want one for yourself? <laughs> no, I had my breakfast. Wow. I had it. Oh, that just tastes spectacular. Oh, let's make it taste even more spectacular. I made up some Ooh, chocolate, chocolate sauce. or carob sauce, whichever you want. Mm -hmm. And all I did was take coconut milk in the can and some mm -hmm. carob or cocoa powder and a little bit of sweetener, whether it be stevia or sweetener of your choice, and some cornstarch. And look there, Mark. So you've got your chocolate, you've got your almond, mm -hmm. and you've got your uh, coconut. Right, right, coconut. Got coconut. And that's your ingredients in a candy bar. And an Almond Joy. Almond Joy candy bar. Of course, we have to top it off with. Oh, you know the kids would go absolutely bonkers <laughs> Well, over this. the adults too. Yeah. Look at that, that's decadent. And that's a waffle. Money back guarantee. Yeah. If you are not completely satisfied with Call this Mark. particular recipe, <laughs> that's what I was going to do. Oh, <laughs> you, you just catch me every single time. Don't exactly. You? That's a winner. That is a winner. That it one's going so home with me. You're yeah. definitely not going to get any of that part. So. All right. All right. Hey, now, what are you doing? I you will... got to kick it up and Yes, okay. I will do that. So, what we're going to do this time is drop is, my fork. Uh, did we have some, oh, right here. Right here? Oh, pumpkin. Yes, I, I got pumpkin over here. I moved it. Yeah, you moved it on me. Um, so we're gonna put the, I just wanna do half of that though. Okay, so half can I put pumpkin. it in? Yeah, Okay. Yeah. And then we're gonna do the three cup, three cup. Is that three what we're cup, doing? Three cup, three cup. That's now, been working pretty good. If they did five cup in a blender, they could use the whole can of pumpkin then Probably. But the problem with pumpkin, is moisture right if you use too much it's going to retain that moisture mm -hmm. and uh it, you're going to end up with it sticking and falling you know sure. i just know it i just know sure. it so all right so we'll put some salt in there and i'm going to use a couple different sweeteners for this all particular right. one um because we're looking at it's like a pumpkin pie. Pumpkin Ooh. pies are sweet. Do you have some pumpkin pie spice over there by any chance? You know, I think I do. Where'd uh, I put it? Ooh. And maple syrup, of course. And this pumpkin pie spice? Yes, it is. Okay. I'll go for it. Yeah, I'm gonna, because we're gonna get our flavor out of the pumpkin pie spice. We not are. Not the actual pumpkin as much. We uh, are. In this particular case. Um, and then what all do you, you've already got your salt in there. Vanilla, do you put vanilla in that or okay. no? Yeah, actually, do we have vanilla here? Right there. Oh, there. Or simply organic vanilla. Mm -hmm. Get that non alcoholic vanilla too. Yeah. There's a, yeah, that's good. I like going down to Mexico and picking that up. I like it when he goes to Mexico and gets it because he brings me a big bottle back. Mm -hmm. Here we go. And 
Mark, it takes just a little bit longer right now with the Vitamix because we did not soak right. the oats. How do it, you like that? It was kind of neat though because when you're watching it, you can you'll start see it kind of stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just stops mm -hmm. and then it's like, okay, it's done. It's time to go. So, okay, I'm going to hand this to you. Okay. Right in there. And, and then I'm going to switch, switch sides with, here. with you. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Give this baby a little spray. And we'll see how this works here. Looks good. The, the texture, the consistency of it looks good. Yeah, I'm just going around the outskirts and I hit that center pretty good. Now, Mark, what would you use on here for a topping on the pumpkin? Well, I'm thinking um, uh, I've got my secret ingredient in the fridge over here. Uh, just some Cool Whip topping. I thought would be. I wondered about that. Is that what you were thinking yes. too? Yes. <laughs> cool Whip. I'm thinking, what would be better well, than Cool Whip on a right? Because on, that's a, what's on, on a pumpkin pie. Exactly. And of course, now you use the uh, coconut. That's what Is I've that got what in there. Use? It's hiding yeah. in there. We I, love that. Stuff. I actually had that for a surprise, but. Oh, you cat, can't surprise. Let the me. cat out of the bag. Yeah. You can't. I can't surprise you either. Not very often. We finish each other's thoughts. Yeah, once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and we gotta spin this around we're again. We're gonna let it go. We're gonna cook all these mm -hmm. and then we're gonna come back. Show you what it looks okay. like. Okay, great. Whoop. I heard the sound. Little beep, beep, beep. Which way does this go? There we go. Nice. Now see, this one's a little smaller. It, okay, that's all. You can all tell right. where the outsides, I didn't quite get to the, the edges on that one. Hey, let's use that um, one on the bottom. Give me another one. I like to have two on a plate. Okay, give me that one. And then I want to just... Or you can just stack them. Yeah, you can. Ooh, nice. Nice. And then my thought was, let me grab this uh, Cool Whip in here. You got a spoon? I do have a spoon for you. Because this stuff is so good. It is. I like to whip it up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we really don't rehearse this. I mean, Otherwise, it's foamy if you it don't is. whip it up. It is. And this way, it just gives it that velvety look. Nice. Ooh, and you know, this is going to kind of melt because it's still warm. Yeah, you know what? If we rehearse things, I probably it probably wouldn't even work. Would it wouldn't. It? No. it wouldn't. Okay, no. boom. Just a dollop. <gasps> What about a little bit of uh, cinnamon? That's, <laughs> I kid you not. I was actually just gonna grab some nutmeg myself. Nutmeg, okay. uh, Just because it just kinda. Yes. It, it doesn't, um, Oh, yeah, it's look a at different. this, yum. Yeah. I am so gonna be taking a bite of this when we're done. Right there, boom. Gorgeous, And Good we'll job. get the camera shot. <laughs> we do these Good beauty job. shots all the time too, so. Yeah. Uh. Wow, Mark, that is absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Are we doing more? Because we are look at not all this done food. Yet. It doesn't matter. This is an extravaganza, and you and I don't do anything small. Yeah, and the whole thing is just to show you concepts. It is. You can do so many different things once you understand the intelligent concept mm -hmm. of making waffles out of oats. Oh, yeah, we've got things coming up that you, you just got to wait. Even after this segment, we've got other segments, and we'll just yeah. blow them away did, with waffles. Did we actually tell them this was gluten free? No, we <laughs> forgot to tell them that. In case you didn't notice, there was Everything. no flour. At, the only grain we used was gluten-free oats. Yeah, That's and the flaxseed. Well, yeah, flaxseed, so. yeah, but we didn't have a grain. Yeah. So no flour. So if you have problems with some kind of allergy, this is, look, I know, I love it's spreading it. right I mean, through there. So I knew you were going to see yummy. that. Uh, yes, yes, yummy. All right, let's see what you got going on next then. Let's do an apple cinnamon raisin. Okay. Okay? So let me see what I got here. Apple cinnamon. Cinnamon. I want cinnamon. Yeah, if you guys are doing this in the back here uh, with your spices like I do with my massive amount of spices and on the sides, I actually label them on the back side so I always know what they are because a lot of these will look the same. There's your cinnamon right there. Oh, cinnamon. There's the cinnamon. You're going to mm -hmm. put that in now. Okay. Well, you want to write a little bit yeah, here? No, go ahead because it okay. doesn't matter what... what uh, yeah, because I know you're going to do three cups and three cups. So. That's right. And uh, boom. Yeah, that three works. By the way, I did some counts on these. Look at this. This is what I got going on here. Okay. And these are actually going to go in the freezer, and we're going to mm -hmm. freeze them while they're flat and level. It's called individual quick freeze. We've sure. talked about it before. So those are going to go in the freezer here in just a bit. And Mark, um, do you want to grab me a little bit more milk? Three cups and three cups. We got mm -hmm. some more. 
And we can put water in it too if you want to. For somebody yeah. who's on a diet with no fat, just use mm -hmm. water. Say when? Just like that? Almost, yeah. Almost when. If I need more, there you go. Yeah, we can Loving do that. It. Okay. Actually, that probably wouldn't have been a bad idea to have less in there because we're going to put some apples. I better make sure I don't have any waffles in here. <laughs> have you ever done that? I, I've done that where, you know, because you're running Whoops. three waffles here and, and I've done that and, and all of a sudden I'm smelling something and it's like, uh-oh, I still got a waffle in there somewhere, so. All right, um, I put in my vanilla. I'm gonna put apples. in my salt. Yeah, apples. And Mark, if this is just a little too wet, then we can just put some more oats in it. That's a great thing about it, you know. Mm -hmm. There is my sweetener, my dates. I'll use them all. Yeah, let's finish that one up. Oh, here, throw it over there in the trash. Okay. I want my flax seed. We are actually extremely organized in the kitchen and we complement each other in so many ways. And uh, mm -hmm, we do. Man, when we're getting things accomplished in the kitchen, that's a thickening agent too. So. It is, it really makes it nice. Okay. And then we're just gonna blend that. I thought you wanted raisins in it. What you, what you I'm not gonna put the raisins in until after I'm done. Oh, okay. So you'll see the whole raisins then. Mm -hmm. You're gonna see the whole you raisins. You could chop some up for flavor you or could. for you could. sweetness, but sure. okay. Now the reason why that sounds like you've got glass in there is because of the dates. You can soak the dates prior to when you put them in your mixer if you do not have a Vitamix, but it doesn't matter in here. Looks a little thin. You still want me to try it? You know what? I can go ahead and put a few more oats in it. Because you know it's going to thicken up in like it's 30 gonna seconds. It's going to thicken up a little bit. Can you put whole oats in there? Yeah, I sure. Wonder. I put them in all the time. And Let's then you have whole, that. whole oat flakes. I'm going to blend that a little bit more. You have some whole oat flakes in there. I wonder. I wonder. Yeah. How's that look? Much better. All right. The whole thing with, with the, um, uh, the thinner batter versus the thinner batter is mm -hmm. that it's just going to take longer to cook. That's it. If you uh, have too thin of a batter, it's just going to take, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I didn't give you the raisins. Uh-oh. Okay, well, we've got these two going on. Apple raisins. If you're allergic apple. to raisins, we had a couple special customers over here that were specifically allergic to raisins, and that's why we did that. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and these you just want to mix in. Yeah, I just want to mix those in. Can you do you nuts that nuts way too? In here. <laughs> Let's put some pecans. No, you grabbed the pecans. <laughs> this is so funny. Put a little more. Get you, this. You, <laughs> Amen. I, our mothers and fathers knew each other. They had yeah. to. <laughs> yeah, Adam and Eve. <laughs> yes. Okay, let me let me spray, spray this it. one. No, I didn't spray mm -hmm. that one down. So, and we're gonna because this might be a little chunky. A little more of a challenge to get it in here. Right. And hopefully this will close okay. Because um, I use, those are bigger chunks of. Mm -hmm. You okay. can, I, I like small raisins. It's hard to find them. Okay. okay. And we'll. They're in. We'll in. Come back when we get all this And we're going up. to keep on going. And okay. we'll be back. I'm going to clean up a little bit. I just heard it. Let's see if. Ooh, Ooh that looks nice. Oh, <gasps> beautiful. There you go. I could eat it just like this. You know, yeah. Mark, I don't know if the people who are viewing out there realize, but we do not add oil or a fat except for a natural fat to these. There might be some fat in the almonds, there might be some fat in some of the soy, but we're and not just putting a little butter. for the sticking. Part. Right, right. Yeah. We're not doing that with these. But very little. Mm hmm. And okay, you know something, folks, I that. love almond butter on my apples because I'm allergic to peanut butter. 
So that's why I prefer almond butter. Yeah, you'll see those little black areas too, and I think that's kind of the raisins uh, the that raisins. are coming through. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. And that one's still got a minute to go. So, boom! Look at you getting all fancy. I am. Now, Mark, do you have just a, a little bit of cinnamon there for me? Maybe? I do. Right there. You want to write a sprinkle, huh? Just yeah. sprinkle it on there. Beautiful. How natural. Is that not just plain, as you simplicity, but yet gorgeous? Wow. Mm -hmm. Ah, we're That's almost done with one. another yeah. one. So, there you go. We're finishing up with this, but don't <laughs> you have another one coming up? I probably do. There's one in there. There's one in so there. So, I'll let you take a look at that. Let okay. me plop this baby up here. I think we're running out of room. We've got so many things going on here. And we're going to use, here's a different one for you. Check this out. I'm going to use this pineapple. Let's get a stir on that. Oh. And, uh, We'll add some pineapple in here. Yes, tropical breeze, you should call this yeah. one. Yeah, oh, there we go, it, now, it is now named. <laughs> so we're gonna do three cups of that. And let me pour your... Uh, three cups of that. There you go, Mark. And of course for tropical, I'm Coconut gonna hit the palm sugar, sugar right. Okay, nice. Yeah, look how dark this is. Has anybody ever seen palm oh, sugar? Look at that. That smells yeah. so good. Oops. Now that's a lot of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. Yeah. Don't try this at home, kids. Anything tropical over here? We got some orange. Yeah, you can put a little orange in there. Which would give it a nice tropical little scent to it. What else is in there? Butter coconut. Flavor. Oh, if we have coconut, that'd be right awesome. There. Here's lemon. Right here's coconut. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. Ooh yeah. And then okay, you like coconut. Don't I you? love I love coconut, but you know if you don't like it, don't put it in. That's yeah. simple. A little lemon. And then pineapple. I put some in there already on the bottom. Oh, you already and did. Boom. Okay. So, anything else we're missing? Salt. Uh, what about flaxseed and salt? Salt. A little flaxseed just because it's good for you. It what do you get good. out of that flaxseed, huh? Tell you me. know, it's like an egg, really. So whenever you're putting in there, uh, that's your omega, omega threes. Mm, that's yep. your omega three. Okay, and we'll just give this a spin. I think that one might be ready, too. I've been checking it. That's thick enough, or should I add a little more? Looks a little thin, doesn't it? I'd put a little bit more in. It is going to thicken up, but you had Pineapple, the pineapple juice, a lot of uh, liquids in there yeah, for your flavoring. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's why I'm adding. That's what I'm having to add. But you are going to put coconut in afterwards, aren't you? That sounds really good. That's better, huh? That is better. Okay. I like I your idea. I can tell by the way I heard it. I like your idea. Yep. Not the Go coconut right in there? Right inside. Couple scoops. Couple Should scoops. Do. Okay. Here we go. All righty. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, yeah. And I'll get these babies. You got them all cleared out? Yep. I do. And give it a quick spray. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's good. I can tell the consistency's right. And like I said, you don't have to spray it every time, but I'm so used to those commercial ones that I've just learned the hard way. And another thing that you use is the, the um, sesame seeds, Mark. I've mm -hmm. used that before, too. Okay, so we'll give these a whirl and come back and take a look at what they look like, huh? We'll be right back. See what it looks like. <laughs> wow, you know, Mark, that is re here. I here. think it's ready. <laughs> I know my hands are pretty good at doing that. Look at that. Oh. Can you smell it? 
I can't, you know what? You, you guys smell a vision should be coming out pretty <clears> soon. <throat> But it, you can smell the coconut and the pineapple Absolutely. in there. Absolutely, yep, you sure can. And you can eat this really simple. Put some fresh uh, pineapple, maybe if you want some coconut on it. Just put some good flavors. You don't need all the sugar on it, Mark. That's natural sugar. That's na God's natural. That's God's the sugar, sugar that's right good there. for you. But look mm -hmm. at that. Isn't that the most amazing thing? Mm -hmm. We just showed you how to do waffles made gluten-free mm -hmm. out of oatmeal and water or milk and no oil no oil no butter no butter no refined sugars we no. didn't use the refined no, sugars no, we didn't today. and on top gluten-free you hit that one low sodium there was something else you could do soy like, free if you did the almond you could milk. do soy free you yeah. could do totally fat free if mm -hmm. you did like a rice milk or just use water like, like Mark had used like the, the pineapple juice the pineapple juice you could do that as well there are so many variations <laughs> to this it's amazing and you guys haven't even seen it yet <laughs> we have recipes yeah. that we have done that will knock your socks off yeah. you've got to quit looking at waffles as something which is maple syrup, syrup and sugar on it in the morning for the kids because we've even got some we've made that we're going to have out pretty soon on one of our segments that can be used as entrees. Savory. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. We've got savory ones. We've got ones you can make uh, pizzas into. Pizzas. There's so many cool things. Uh, but this is the foundation. This is the basic uh, is. learning tool. It is. And, and look here, Mark, you, you have this right here. Exactly. Tropical. These are frozen. Mm -hmm. See, after they froze on the individual sheets, yes. then you put them in the baggies because you cannot put them in the baggies when they're hot. Right. They will just all smash together. But yeah, these... they won't be nice. And we mm -hmm. lay them out and then we let them cool yeah. and then put them in the bag to freeze. Yep. All you have to do once, once you've done that, pop them down in the toaster like you do your bagel toaster. You can put them in a, like I call them salamanders, but those right. little yeah. ovens, exactly. you know. Salamander. Yeah, quick, out the door, bam, you've got breakfast. And yep. your wife, Brenda, she takes these with her every morning, doesn't she, Mark? And she Pretty much, them in yeah, the car she while she's them. on her way to work. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that is so hot. It is. It Don't is. try this at home, kids. Oh, wow, what flavor. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That has so much tropical flavor and it. it will blow you <laughs> oh, away. Oh, it does. Mm -mm -mm. So. Mm. Mm -mm. We have my almond joy. Mm -hmm. We have your original with just the just almond. Almonds and coconut. This was the pumpkin. Uh huh. This was the apple raisin cinnamon. This and is tropical. the tropical. And we still have we still have so many more, yeah, but we've only got so much time, yeah. and you guys are probably sick of waffles by this time. <laughs> or you're thinking in your head, oh, I know one they could do. They didn't yeah. think about that one. Give Let us, us know. Yeah, yeah, send us an email. Let us know. Uh, and make sure you check out all of our other uh, segments on waffles. Mm -hmm. And I guess we'll see you next time in the kitchen.